morning everyone so today's my first shift of the week it's wednesday it's not it's tuesday not wednesday it's tuesday i have my weetabix i am ready for the day i'm absolutely knackered um hopefully it's gonna be a great day but i'll let you know later how it goes i'm home so that's it i'm home i've had pizza and wedges for my dinner i think i live on pizza lately <laughs> i don't know why i need to find something else that's quick and easy to cook and stir fry stir fry and pizza is all i've been living on the past week so i've had my pizza i've had my wedges i'm home i'm chilling i'm relaxed i've got my hoodie on because it's cold outside i've got my pjs on i'm off tomorrow so tomorrow we've got a halloween bake sale which i might do a little vlog shall i if I've done a vlog, I will post this video and I'll put the link to the video in. If I haven't posted this into the video, then I haven't done it. So yeah. So we've got a charity bake sale tomorrow, which we're raising money for the Cavill Trust. The same charity that we were doing for the Snowden Challenge is the, is all part of this as well. So we need, I think, £350 is all we've got left to raise and then it's done. And I think we've got literally tomorrow to raise that. Are we going to pet 350 pounds on cakes probably not <laughs> i hope so but probably not so yeah so i'm home i'm chilled and what have i got to say about today actually not much i know i haven't got much to say today today was a pretty relaxed day i took a patient to their appointment today at a different hospital and then i came back um i did the personal care bit so i did the all the assessment charts and everything i did the food rounds i did all the normal things that i've done i haven't done anything extra today nothing out of the ordinary just been a regular shift there was enough staff so we weren't short staffed and it ran smoothly everyone was sort of didn't know what to do with themselves because there was that period between about three and five where everyone's just like okay what do we do now <laughs> what is there to do so I, I tend to just go around and talk to my patients and make sure they're all all right. Get to know them. That's what I usually do if I've got nothing to do and everything's been done. I literally just go around and talk to my patients, get to know them, find out their likes, dislikes, family life, anything extra I can find out about them. And that's it. But yeah, but that's all I've really got to say about today. It's been a good day. Haven't got much to update you, so... I'm going to have to start thinking of new vlogs to do. <laughs> Actually, I have got a vlog that's coming up. I'm going to do a vlog uh, about putting on stockings, the hospital stockings that you have to do because they are horrendous to get on. But there is a technique to doing it. And if you use a bag or a plastic bag and put that over the foot and then the stocking over the top, I find that really works. So I'm just trying to find a victim to do that with me. <laughs> but yeah. That's it for now. I shall, I'm back on placement on Thursday, so I'll let you know how Thursday goes and see you then. my day two of placement today what day is it i don't even know what day it is anymore <laughs> oh it's 
Thursday. It's Thursday today. So yeah, I'm exhausted. We've had a busy but alright day. I can't complain. It's been alright. Today I've done a lot of wound dressings and I took out a catheter. I removed clips from a wound, which is always amazing to do really great experience and we also had a patient who went into hypoglycemic shock a little bit he went down his blood sugar levels went down to four and we've always been told four is the floor so um, we had to give him some gluco tablets some glucogel and they did come up again so they came up to about i think there were nine something by the time we'd left so there was a lot of telltale signs that you could just see, so that was really interesting to see. It was great to put that knowledge that we've learned from our diabetes lectures into an actual practice and seeing it in real life happen. So that was really good. I always love when we've learned something at university and then we go out into practice and then we witness it. It's, it makes my day when that happens. I absolutely love it. I love putting the knowledge into practice. And that's why I do believe that we need a degree because we need that knowledge behind us so that we can understand the body and the way it's working and what's happening to give the best care possible for our patients. Just my opinion. <laughs> but I really loved that. It wasn't very good for the patient, but it was great for my learning and it was just a really good experience I found. So now I'm going to just chill out because I'm absolutely knackered. I'm back in on Sunday. I've got tomorrow and Saturday off. Tomorrow I'm going dress shopping because we have our awards ceremony next week. I know. So I don't actually think I've told you this actually. So as part of the Haas scheme at the university, the Haas scheme actually won the Kate Award, which is really, really big, really exciting. And a few of us have been selected to go up to Edinburgh have a night in Edinburgh and go to the award ceremony. So I need a dress. I need a fancy dress for next Wednesday because that's when it is and it's gonna be amazing. I'm really excited for it. I don't know how I'm gonna have my hair, I don't know how I'm gonna have my makeup. I need to find a dress. It's next week and I'm panicking, but it's gonna be good. Can't wait. I'll do a little vlog as well for you all so you can see what goes on at these award things. Hopefully it's gonna be amazing. You'll get to meet everyone as well. And yeah, so that's it for this week. Um, I'm back on placement on Sunday, but because I can't fit it into the video and post it in time, you've just got two days this week. There's not really much I can say, but do you know what? I've got three weeks left. I've got three weeks left and that's me done. Not that I'm counting down or anything, but I've got three weeks left, guys. Three weeks and then I'm done. How excited. So yeah, I'll see you all later.